Good morning, Grace. No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> oh, goodness. Good morning. I'm going to dive right into it. Our nugget for the day. Accept your responsibilities. Okay? Accept your responsibilities. Now, here's the thing. I understand we make our decisions. And here's the thing, too. Any decision that we make has a consequence to it, whether it's a positive or a negative consequence. True. Okay? But you are directly attached to that responsibility of that consequence. Yeah. Reason being is because you made the choice to do it. Right? So don't look for a cop-out. Don't look for a crutch. Don't look for an excuse. Don't even try to make an excuse. Okay? Yeah. Everybody has a booty hole, so everybody can make an excuse. Okay? I, I mean... That's how they used to tell me. Excuses are like buttholes. Everybody got one, right? I used to I used to hear that excuses are a crutch for the uncommitted. And oh, that's in so, that statement, it's church. So professional. <laughs> <laughs> to me, when I hear excuses are a crutch for the uncommitted, I think about what are you committing to? And the reason you're making the excuses, obviously, because you don't want to. Let me take these glasses off. Because you don't want to commit. Honey, you already made the decision to commit yeah, to this. Absolutely. You can't just jump up and leave and cop out because you're feeling some type of way or you ain't your feelings. Yeah, yeah. Like we said the other day, you need to talk, speak up, and say something. So if you're uncomfortable, then, okay, let's figure out a solution. Let's figure. He's texting with Wade. Sorry. If there's discomfort, then yeah, let's figure out a solution with the partner, with whoever, you know, the other party is that's involved in the situation. Yeah. But making an excuse so that you don't have to deal with your responsibility, not cool. And running away from it. That is the most coward thing in the world. Avoidant behavior, babe. That's what that is. Yeah, that's absolutely. that avoidant attachment style we've been reading about. Yeah. You can't avoid everything. You can't. You can't and avoid I mean, your responsibility. Period. I was going to say that too. You can't. I mean, now here's the thing. A lot of children, I don't even want to say children, a lot of people in the world have found people who love them dearly and maybe in their subconscious they don't realize that they're misusing these people and allowing them to not just be a safe haven but cripple them in a sense. That's not cool either because then you don't grow. Yeah. You can't be on baby milk all your life. You at some point you gotta have soft foods. At some point you gotta get to the solids. You can't be on the titty all the dang on time. At some point you got to grow up. That's true. You got to. And if you choose not to, then that's on you. But don't make everybody else suffer for the sake of don't make everybody suffer for the sake of you not wanting to grow up. Absolutely. And that's on God. Period. Yellow. What up, y'all? We made it. Hey, man. That wasn't a bad drive. Seven and a half hours nah. from Washington. Through to, Oregon. Yeah, through Oregon. And now we have crossed over the border of California. And now we're chilling in some small two-exit town. <laughs> Not uh, two-exit. It, it kind of reminds me of cars. I feel like we should find Mater here mm -hmm. somewhere. But, um... Anyway, um, so we're getting ready to go get some food, but we just wanted to check in with y'all, man. We got a whole bunch of footage uh, that we want to see, uh, or have y'all see, excuse me, I'm going to say that again. We got a whole bunch of footage that we want y'all to see, man. Stuff that we've seen on the highway, mountains, and mountain lions. I'm lying, so it wasn't no mountain lions, but it was definitely some mountains, some hills uh, that are hard to climb, uh, valleys that we saw that we won't stay in. And, uh, Hallelujah. Yeah, man. So we're super excited. But anyway, I'm ready to sit down, watch a, a good movie or two. Yeah. Get some food in my belly. Just relax. I'm kind of ready to relax. Yeah. Yeah. We have a nine or ten hour drive ahead of us tomorrow mm -hmm. down to Orange County. We are in the top of California right now. Like right above Sacramento. Yep. Right above. So obviously Orange County is, is down there. Down. So. Mm -hmm. Like middle. Yeah. yeah. Middle south. So. But yeah. but yeah, we just wanted to check in with y'all. It's uh, a little warm. I'm out here with a long sleeve, but yeah. make a boy gotta 
get this them weight on body this, big. You feel me? Big that's body man. Do, don't crash. Super excited about that stuff, man. And that's that's our man's uh, James, by the way. James. So I thought his name was Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, I think his name's Tyler. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. He's a little older. Say hi to Tyler. Jimmy. Hey, Tyler. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy? Jimmy. I like Jimmy better. Yeah, because it's a nickname for James. Say hey to Jimmy, y'all. Yeah. That was Jimmy, by, by the way. Anyway, uh, we just want to check in, man. So we will see y'all later after we eat. Probably won't. Probably won't. Because we will just we'll give you. We'll give you a little bit of scenery. Maybe. Maybe. You can see yeah. our food. We'll give you a little bit of scenery. Yeah, for sure. I want to drop a little nugget on y'all. When you are in a relationship or in a marriage, you need to talk about your feelings. When you are in a relationship or in a marriage, you need to talk about your feelings. Don't count yourself out, okay? Don't count your, wait, let me take my glasses off again. Don't count yourself out. You got to talk about it. Whether you emotional or you don't want to talk, you got to say something. Because if you don't, you're going to suffocate and you're going to die. That's so true. And you're just going to be living in a marriage or in a relationship that's not worth your time. That's so true. Okay? No matter how hard it is, talk. Open up your mouth. And if you don't know how to explain yourself, try. Yeah. Write it down. If you literally have to write on a piece of paper all of the different words that are in your mind, do that. And then just, you know, hopefully you have a person that's going to be understanding that will sit with you and talk you through it. But that's one thing I've learned on this trip is that you need to talk about your feelings and you can't count yourself out. And don't make excuses for yourself. Don't try to cop out of a situation because you don't know how the person's going to respond yeah. or you don't know how um, they're going to take your feelings. It's not your job to worry about how somebody's going to take your feelings. Your job is to make sure that your feelings are known and that they're not suppressed and i think in our culture in the black community in the black community we do that a lot we suppress our emotions we try to act like we're fine or we try to um be kind of anxious and like get to the end of a scenario before we let the other person even have a say or anything in the situation and that's not fair it's not fair to you and it's not fair to the other person so mama k says say something when you feeling some type of way open up your mouth yep. and say something that's good would you like to make any points ditto okay couch out